Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to solve any given quadratic equation by factoring technique. And the method that we'll be using is called no fuss factoring. And one more thing, let me remind you that uh, we're going to be using this method only if your leading coefficient is not 1. That means it should be a whole number and should not be 1. So here is our very first step. I want you to multiply these two end numbers. See right now over here, the number on this side is 7 and this one is negative 6. I want you to create a rainbow. Multiply these two numbers. And here at the very same time, I have put down this x factor. That means something looks like an x. So I want you to multiply once again. 7 times negative 6 is negative 42 on the top whatever you multiply and then this middle number which is negative 11 just put down at the bottom over here now i want you to focus on this number over here 42 don't worry about this negative sign yet what are the possible factors of 42 and here i have listed all possible factors of this 42 you can see that one so the only number if you can look at these one the possible combination that is going to work for us the option is going to be 3 and 14 isn't it 3 and 14 is going to give us 11 isn't it so i want you to just put down 3 right up here and 14 right up here now we need to fix their signs since we have got a negative 11 so this number is going to be negative this number is going to be positive 3 so we got positive 3 and negative 14 these are our two factors if you add them up that's going to give you negative 11 and if you multiply them you're going to get negative 42 so our next step is this one over here. I want you to just simply just look at this the, over here, this part only, 7x. Don't worry, just ignore this exponent part, only 7x. I want you to just put down 7x and 7x as well. All right, just that one. And then our factors turns out to be positive 3 and negative 14. I want you to just put down right up here, positive 3 and negative 14. So far, so good. Now, as you can see in the first parentheses, there is nothing in common do you see that's nothing in common just leave them alone and look at in the second parentheses what is in common in between these two seven so that means both of these one are divisible by seven make sure so this seven and seven cancels out so we got this one is going to become x minus two see we no longer have anything in common. So also I want you to bring down this thing 7x plus 3. So these are our factors for this given equation. And the final step is I just put down on the left hand side the possible factors so it turns out to be 7x plus 3 and x minus 2. I just simply brought these one right up here. Okay, now I want you to just set it equal to 0. Since we have a 2 factor equal to 0, you can separate them. You can split them up. 7x plus 3 equal to 0 and x minus 2 equal to 0. Here I want you to isolate x. The best thing is just simply subtract 3. This reduces to 0. We just simply got 7x equal to negative 3. You divide both sides by 
7 so x turns out to be a negative 3 over 7 this is one of your solutions and on this side we have this thing x minus 2 equal to 0 so that means x equal to 2 is another solution thus our solution set turns out to be a negative 3 over 7 and x equal to 2, 2 and this is our answer and now you got your assignment can you solve this problem on your own you can take your time, pause the video, and start working on this thing. Luckily, I have already uploaded this video as well. You can check that one out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.